The two cities are handling the situation differently for public schools. We have special team coverage tonight. Allison Basil starts us off in Virginia Beach, where a lot of parents are anxious, but health officials say this is the right call. The school shut down in November. I told, I cried first. Virginia Beach parents are facing a familiar battle. First of all, does not work for my daughter. All students are back online. Christina Morrow says that means fighting to keep her daughter, Abby, who has autism, engaged in class. Put her in timeout. She facilitates lessons as a former special ed teacher, but that's become a full-time job. She says not every parent can, and daycare options are limited. Right beside her every minute of the school day. The division's fall plan makes special education students students a priority for in person classes, but it's impossible right now. As of Monday, the Virginia Department of Health reported a 10.7 COVID percent positivity rate. Officials say they expect it to surge even higher than that. This was about where we maxed out at, you know, back in the springtime. And now we're, it looks like we're going to exceed that rapidly. Health Department nurse manager Laurie Shaw says they are seeing 175 to 225 new COVID cases a day. The people that are going in and out of the stores without masks on, um, they're not social distancing. She says they are starting to see cases from Thanksgiving, a huge worry with Christmas two and a half weeks away. So the tail end of Halloween that we're starting to see. School officials work closely with the health department. Morrow understands keeping the kids home for now. I just finished going through chemotherapy for breast cancer, and so a lot has fallen through the cracks at our house. But she hopes officials keep her daughter on their priority list. They have the most intensive needs, and, you know, they need to be in school. In Virginia Beach, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.